Squatters have victimized many, many New Yorkers who say something just has to be done. My tenants only pay me one month's land. They know the game. They know after 30 days, you cannot evict them. No court case should go seven years. Why can't you just change the locks? Oh, I will be arrested instantly. They turned off the hot water and then reported that they had no hot water. It's a $250 fine per day, up to $15,000, punishable by five years in jail. So here you are. You have to pay the upkeep of the house. Right. I pay the and you're not getting any rent? I'm not getting any rent. I'm paying the uh, gas and electric every month. Four stories repeated over and over and over again by irate and often unwitting property owners. Worry lines marking their faces who came to see Councilwoman Vicki Palladino's office desperately seeking help. Hong Chen has spent thousands trying unsuccessfully to get the squatters out of this home in Mazpath. John Sokran using his pension money for expenses on this College Point home he hoped would provide retirement income. And Susan Mascara, who has used up her savings paying for seven years of upkeep on this Bayside home she inherited from her mother. I'm in debt. My credit cards are pretty much maxed out. Some of them make me cry. All I want to do is make things better. Councilwoman Vicki Palladino says part of the solution is to change the law, which allows people to claim squatters' rights after living in a place for 30 days. She wants it changed to 180 days. They own the property and they have no rights. Squatter rights, oxymoron. Squatters have no rights. Squatters terrified this woman who lived next door to this Whitestone home, a home they took possession of. 7.30 in the morning, there'd be people on the front lawn drinking beer, smoking pot. Different cars from different states showing up and then license plates being swapped. It was frightening. Marcia, you can feel the desperation from these homeowners, but this was focused, you know, the residents in Queens, but it's not specified to this borough, is it? No, it's, it's really citywide, and it's all five boroughs, not just the Queens or the outer boroughs. It's Manhattan as well, and it's people who own apartments, people who own houses, people who are snowbirds who are afraid to go to their vacation homes because if they leave their house untended, somebody could break in, and it also involves retirees who are afraid that their investment income might not come through. Well, you are right. Something needs to be done here, Marcia. Thank you.